I'm like, oh yeah, we're probably gonna die today or get lost again. One of those things is gonna happen. So every year there's the CMWC, which is uh, the Cycle Messenger World Championships. And it uh, happens all over the world, obviously. This year it's happening in Jakarta. In 2008, it took place in Tokyo. We started in Kyoto. There's always a pre-event. So if you have like the time to take off work, which most messengers being just like independent contractors can kind of f off for two weeks. And so a lot of messengers will like work all year, save their money to f off for two weeks to do this and like go to the pre-event and go to the main event. And the pre-event was in Kyoto and we had like a series of alley cats in Kyoto and like they're very into fixie culture and it was super fun. And we had like track stand competitions. It was just like, it was a great time. And then we took off on our bike ride. We ride from the pre-event to the, to the main event. Most most people do like we just like it's full on messenger style like people will like put their messenger bags on their back and ride for 100 miles a day sometimes you're lucky and you get like a support vehicle anyway we're riding and the first day is all along route one <laughs> which i don't know if this is like just universal across the world that route one is covered in like car dealerships and gas stations but it was like very not scenic ugly and on top of that it was raining uh and so we're just like hauling ass down route one it's awful the next day is like that too and it's just kind of like brutal and we're just like there must be a way around this so we try to find a train and we end up finding a train like none of us speak japanese like i'm in this small group of people because everyone kind of breaks off there was like a hundred or so of us but like people kind of end up in their own pockets so i was with like a polish guy and like two Germans, I think, and myself. I didn't know these, but I just met them. So we hop on the train, we get off, and we're like, it's getting dark. We don't know where we are. We're trying to figure it out. We're just lost for hours. It's like, I think it's like midnight by the time we find where we were supposed to camp for the night. And we're just exhausted and everyone's like, where have you been? And there's these like really loud Australians who are just like, you know, always partying and like typical Australian messengers. And uh, they were like, we ate all the food, and we were like, oh, crestfallen, and it was fine. So we just went to bed hungry and like slept in our tents. It's raining all night. We wake up in the morning and open our tent door, and it's like sunny, and there's a beach right there. And we're like, holy shit, we're on the coast. Like, it's over. Like, the worst of it is over. And we have like three more days of riding. And then proceeds like the hills. So we're on the coast and we're just like climbing, 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 descending, climbing. And we're all on like f fixed gear bikes. We're all on single speeds. Like it's like, it is brutal. I had never experienced climbing like that. Like mind you, I had been living in New York City right now. I wasn't in California. So like I didn't know mountains. I was just like, this is insane. So I end up with the Aussie group at this point. I'm with these three Aussies and they're just hilarious and funny and loud and obnoxious and, you know, pulling tricks on their, like, no hands and like standing on their, like, just typical messenger Aussie dudes. And one of them, like, we're, we're descending, he's descending brakeless and he, like, hits the guardrail and like bounces off and I was like ah and then he's sitting there and I'm like are you okay and he just like sits up and like shakes it off and was like yeah pulls out a marker tags the guardrail where he hit it and made a dent and then just gets on his bike and keeps going <laughs> these are the guys I'm riding with um and then they had this bright idea they're like listen we found a shortcut we're gonna go get on this ferry, this ferry's gonna take us to the other side. It's gonna cut out like 40 miles of today's ride. And I was like, sounds good to me, like, let's do it. So we hop on this ferry and we're drinking beer. And I was like, man, this is great. I should definitely ride with the Aussies more often. And like, we get out at the other end and realize that everyone else had been riding along the ridge. And because we took the ferry, we had the steepest, most sharpest insane ascent to the top of that mountain range because we had to get over to the other side so we kind of ended up screwing ourselves a little bit especially when you only have one gear it was brutality it was just like awful uh but we climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed i think we didn't save any time because everyone else kind of just made their way and uh we all made our way up 
to the Kirin school, which is, Kirin racing is track racing in Japan, but it's like kind of gamified and people bet on it like horse racing and like all the racers dress in all one color. So it's like Skittles racing around a track and it's very serious and it's very like uh, esteemed. And so they were letting us sleep there for the night, but they had one rule, no visible tattoos. So we're like climbing all day up this steep ass hill and like we're drenched in sweat. It's super hot, it's humid. We're peeling off all our layers and we get to the top and they are like, you are not allowed inside until everyone covers their tattoos. So we're like waiting for the car that's carrying our stuff and then we like get our bags and we pull out like, it was the most motley crew of people entering this Kieran school by the end of the day. Cause some people had sleeves, some people had neck tattoos, some people had like, like so we had all these people, all these messen bike messengers, like picture this. 75 bike messengers walking into a Japanese Kirin school, which is like a tr esteemed training center for these bike racers with like one leg warmer, a neck warmer, one glove, one arm warmer, like a winter coat in the middle of summer, a bathrobe, a towel around their legs because they didn't bring pants on the trip. Like that's what we looked like. Like it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was the most, Ridiculous sight ever, but they let us in the door and uh, we got to watch Kieran training and we got to go to the onsen, which is the like Japanese bathhouses um, and wash our dirty, dirty bodies off and continue on our way. So that was Japan.